expected to translate everything that Francis stands for and everything that Christ models for us uh, into our own lives. And so the information that we receive through the writings of St. Francis, through the examples of St. Francis when he lived on earth, and through the writings of the gospel, uh, we are to model ourselves after those examples and to follow those leads in our daily life and doing what we are called to do, which is to live a gospel life in each and every day that we live for this earth. I knew that it was a fit for me because I, I wanted to be part of a family. I wanted to be part of something much greater than anything uh, solely uh, in secular society uh, could be offered to me. And so uh, part of the Franciscan Community of Mercy mission for me is to be brother to one another and to be minister to one another and to be friend to one another and in doing so modeling for one another those behaviors and those expectations that we are then asked to go into the world and be for all people. As Franciscans and as human beings we are lifelong learners. We should constantly seek to better ourselves through the exploration of all things regarding education. Those things that interest us, those things that challenge us, and as members of the Franciscan Community of Mercy, we are expected to pursue a level of Franciscan scholarship so that we may be clear in our understanding of who we are, we may accurately express to others uh, what it is we are about, what is our charism, what is our mission, what is our reason for being, and education for the Franciscan Community Mercy is a component of our development, our spiritual development through spiritual reading, our, our intellectual development through academic study at St. John the Beloved Seminary, and as well as our personal development in understanding who we are through the various types of study that we take part in. I would say that uh, for those people who are contemplating whether or not the Franciscan Community of Mercy is a community for them, I would say continue to pray, continue to seek God's will in your life, and reach out and talk to our vocation directors or any of our friars, and engage in conversation with them. They are individuals who have been on a journey much like yours. So do not hesitate to call upon them for assistance, for information, and for guidance as well as support. And be assured of our prayers during this journey of discernment.